Tuzla. I have not been to Tuzla before. Perfect. That's a good one. Yep, haven't been there yet. That'll be my two. Then I can just drive to Karakaj, take a delivery from there into like Romania or Bulgaria, so long as it's not somewhere I've been before. That works. And then we can finish off the Balkan area and then start on the Black Sea again. Cool. Lock it in. Don't know why I took this one instead of the cars. It's to and from exactly the same places. <laughs> Never mind. We'll take some camper vans for a drive, shall we? Let's get this job done. Of course, it's ages away to actually get to the next place. I can't even just go north it doesn't connect that's annoying why do the cities have to be laid out like this oh well never mind if I'd thought about it turn left I could have service walked go straight first before taking any job but then the, the chances of me just having to drive back here again would have been pretty high so it's never guaranteed that the delivery that you want will still be there Keep right. so I'm not sure we're stuck at 90 while we do this drive because we've accepted the job already it's fine though Less likely to crash horribly. I mean, anything's possible when I'm at the wheel, but less likely. Keep left. Keep left only when I absolutely have to. Unfortunately, it takes ages just to get to where we're doing the delivery from. Keep right. Tried to cut the corner too much. Uh, of course. Always annoying when they make those bits a weird S instead of a nice big sweeping corner. But, oh well. Sharing foundations with uh, the other part of the loop, I guess. Keep right, and then exit right. Could just go off to the left there, but. Exit right. We'd just be left with a silver loop and feel sad. Why is there a dog on a motorbike on the advertisement? I'm very confused. Keep right. At the roundabout, take a first exit. Now. It's like a recruitment center and stuff here too. You know what? Maybe I should uh I'm just gonna pop down this way as well. I'm just gonna dip my nose in here as well. Because we're not likely really to come back this way again. Only for the sake of the big intersection. And if we don't have to come all this distance, then that's a bit of a bonus when that comes to it. 
go straight. All right, camper vans. <laughs> There's the cars down the end. Excellent. Now I might take a quick look at the route that's been picked out for me. And I'm going to go out this exit instead of the other exit. Um, this is probably meant to be the customer entrance as opposed to the service exit, but too bad. Now we'll get through these intersections first and then I'm going to jump in the map. Since it doesn't actually matter if I do it when I'm driving or not. See, I'm even pulling camper vans and I still get stuck behind a caravan. Keep right, and then exit right. Just some irony for you. Cut you off. Exit right. You generally sustain a speed of like 60 through these corners, even though they say 40. Okay, let's check the map and see how it's got me going. Fairly sure there's not really any alternative. It's all roads that I've not really been on before. I guess an alternative would be coming down this way instead of going this way. But I don't really see that being very useful either because this bit I've been on already. It's just this section here that's different. That's fine. Cool. It's all just main roads the whole way really. So this should be... Pretty straightforward. Cruise control, scenic mode. It reckons 5 hours 25, ETA of 2200 and 34. I'm gonna see what I can do to come in under that. So we'll just. It's because it's main roads, the speed limit will be 90 pretty much the whole way, I imagine, so it'll be hard to reduce it that much, but any corner we get, we'll try and take the inside. Any chance Keep to speed left. we get, we'll take. It'll be starting to get dark by like 9pm probably, so the last bit might be driven at night, which is always a bit eh. So we'll definitely try and go fast as we can, but trimming off more than half an hour is ambitious. <laughs> Especially when it is just main road driving. You only really get a chance to trim off speed when it's on back roads with uh, lower speed limits. It's our rest like 3 hours 38. Okay, so we're going to be over on that meter as well by the time we get there. That we can kind of do whenever. I mean, if it comes to it, then if we pass a rest area with a couple of hours to go, then we just sleep through the night and finish it in the morning. It's not a big deal. Now, even if it was a freight market contract, we'd almost certainly have enough time to do that. straight and of course I have to slow down for tolls as well Somehow a glancing blow like that, or a 7% damage. I missed if we racked a little bit up earlier.
sorry cars, we're <laughs> staying in the fast lane to just try and get a little bit ahead. We could dive through the gas station through here in fact. That'd probably be good for the IGT counter, because time goes slow when you go through a service area. Sometimes that extends onto the main road, but often it only applies when you're actively going through the services. So if we zoom through here, then maybe, just maybe, it'll stay 22 for a lot longer than it otherwise would. Nope, it ticked up to 23. 24? No, it did stay 23 a lot longer, so that probably did trim off a little bit. So that's nice. Again, it may have done that even by staying on the main road. It's hard to tell without testing. It's one of the things for in-game time speedruns, is you take advantage of all of those time dilation points. Anytime you're in like an urban area or a service area, generally the time calculation flips to being the 20 seconds as an in-game minute instead of 3 seconds being an in-game minute. So you can cheese the clock a little bit. Yeah, it takes a bit of research to figure out which ones actually count and where they count. It's more obvious when you've got the uh, life split timer up. Managed to drop the ETA to 2220, so, you know, <laughs> knocked about 10 minutes off. Half of that, I think, was just going through those services. At least the sun will be sitting behind us so we won't get blinded. judge my distance between me and that truck by using my shadow <laughs> so I knew where my front was. It's a downside to uh, being in this view is it's easy to lose track of where your cab is. There's another service stop up here that we can go through. Or we could just stay on the main road this time and see whether or not it makes a difference. Just, you know, for future knowledge. We're going to be blocked by this truck anyway, so I guess we find out whether or not it extends onto the main road, because I'm not diving across. That would just waste more time. So 19, 2, 3, 20, 2, 3, 21, 2, 3, 22, 2, yep. So it doesn't count on the main road. We're going to hog the left lane for the sake of going through the corner efficiently and then go right. And then have a toll booth and then have a border crossing. <laughs> All these things right. that make it go right. slow. Exit right. Turn right.
to check that my lights are on. And toll booth time. So slow down at the last minute, basically. <laughs> last second. Cruise off. Brake. And accelerate again. And it goes up by the time we go through it. Nice. That's probably as well executed as you can reasonably get. I hate the ones where I don't even have to stop for a length of time. There's just a barrier for the sake of a barrier. One hour twelve, and there's two hours twenty remaining. So this is where we could just sleep, if I wanted to. So here's where we actually have to stop. And this all wastes time, which won't be accounted for in the estimate so this is all just pushing us further behind again annoyingly maybe if if there's a truck stop after the next uh, barrier which I think there is then I think we'll just sleep Get a little bit of sunset on the stretch here. Oh, you know what? That looks pretty. Maybe we don't actually have the truck in it. You know what? <laughs> Can we just dive down here and just have the, the sun just through the trees? The shadows are freaking out a bit though. That's a bit annoying. Okay, let's see if we can get to a point where the shadows seem to be a bit more stable. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work. Again, with the shadows being stupid. Yeah, well, that kind of works. Nice. And maybe we do take one that has the truck in it as well. Why not? Mm, what's the nicest sort of looking angle though? Oh, through the window. Oh, maybe. But then we can't look, see the river, right? <laughs> Ask her, it will be artistic. There we go. <laughs> artistic shot. Just for fun. Okay, there is a rest stop over here. So we'll enjoy the sunset. We'll park up. We'll sleep until morning. Finish the job during the day. guy's going to be in our way to turn across there, but never mind. You know what? Let's let him past. Alright, stop, break, rest. I thought I took the parking brake off. I guess not. Okay, now it's a nice early morning. Retracing our steps a bit on this stretch of road, but that's fine. Cruise control. So this will be 14 out of 15 for the Balkans, which is
which is nice. Means one left to do, and we'll use that to drive back into the Black Sea area. We'll need to have an idea of where to go, because we've been to all the cities there before, so we can't tell what's unvisited. Uh, so we'll have to just check our delivery log to see where we've been previously. Or just our previous videos on YouTube in the titles. I've been listing the names of the places I've been going, so I guess I can just check those two. <laughs> and I'll, I'll know which places I delivered to. Uh, roadworks. Uh, gross. Let's just go in the cab again. It's easy for navigating this sort of stuff easily see where my front is compared to who's in front of me. Less blinding when I have the sun there as well because it can go behind the pillar and stuff. Can I sneak through? No we can't because there's just barriers. Don't be greedy, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. Now the best thing for me to do from here would probably be to take a delivery all the way to like Istanbul or something if there's one available uh, because then I can work my way back because I know I haven't been there recently I can work my way back through like uh, Hungary and stuff not Hungary, Bulgaria wrong end, uh, Bulgaria I can work my way through that I've only been to a couple of places there I think I've been to I can't remember where I went to. There was a couple of places I've been to already. But most of it was in Romania. I hate traffic. I really do. Please turn right. Thank you. Slightly reduces the amount of traffic in front of me. I was hoping to miss the sign. <laughs> Keep left, then continue straight. Go straight. Right, and here we are, around Tuzla. Go straight. Please be turning. Okay, we were too slow <laughs> to get in my way. It's a good start. Tuzla discovered. Man truck dealer discovered. Well, I can fast travel back here whenever I feel like it to look around a little bit more. Uh, but for now, we're focused on our delivery. And we'll drop this one off. And we'll probably leave it there, because I don't think I really have time to cram in another thing today. Uh, we'll just have to do things another time. Maybe next weekend. Uh, probably not, though, because I'll be coming back from overseas, and I'll be knackered. So <laughs> I don't really expect to have much time to stream. much, Either much time, or much mental ability to stream. <laughs> I mean, I could probably squeeze in another one delivery. Um, it is lunchtime, though. At the roundabout, take Maybe we could do it just as uh, an episode on its own if it's a long now. delivery. Ghost that would take me after 2 p.m., though. It's, it's a bit of a stretch. Keep right. It would be kind of nice to at least finish off the Balkan goal. Uh, 
Ah, traffic. How I loathe you. the load and go that's exactly what I intend to do <laughs> perfect done another successful delivery in the bag excellent and that will be 14 out of 15 very good we can then just literally drive to Karakaj and take whatever the hell delivery we can get from there so a Luxion to or whatever uh, I'm curious we're probably in the zone for that at the moment anyway maybe maybe just uh, we're getting Zeneca uh, Karakaj there you go a Nova Sad won't count but that'll be the last one that counts ideally I want to actually take it further um, we're probably only getting a couple of the places there though it's going the wrong way uh vn <laughs> no we want to ideally go like from there not to malaga no um <laughs> maybe if that was our final delivery of the entire event no i really want to get to Is istanbul or something uh would be really nice and this is the last one we'll need for the balkan side of things we've managed to get lucky and there is a thing from Karatakaj to Istanbul, which is exactly what I was wanting. Um, so that's nice. So this will take about an hour. So this will be an episode of its own. I've still, I've got to drive to Karakaj to get there. Which I'm going to be limited to 90 to do. It's always a case of, eh, probably should have uh, just gone there manually. But then who knows whether or not the delivery would still be available. And the fact that it's there, we want to take it. Uh, so first we're going to get out of this place. So it's an hour 29 in game just to get there. Turn right. So that's like five minutes by itself. So we are going to be going much faster than they expect us to be going through the towns, at least. Got the good music <laughs> for a delivery like this to get started on. Lovely little town here, Tuzla. No viewpoints that I could see, though, unfortunately. We can be back to explore this some other time. Uh, maybe. One day. There's quite a few towns that we've not even been able to visit in the Balkans though. out of Because there's 15 is the minimum that you need or the goal that you need for the community event. There's like 25 or 30 towns actually in the DLC I think. Probably 25. Uh, so we've not visited everywhere. We're going to have to come back to kind of what we still need to finish doing for the Iberian DLC in fact. So, one day, if we manage to find slash make the time, then we will be back. But otherwise, the goal now is to get to Karakaj as quickly as possible. Make our delivery to Istanbul as quickly as possible. And then we'll be poised to finish off the final eight or so deliveries that need to be done in the Black Sea area for the sake of that half of the community goal. Since they decided to do a bit of a double whammy this time, normally with a DLC they only do one for the DLC being released. For some reason they decided to also do the Black Sea. Let's go, let's do the entire Balkan Peninsula. Yeah. Apart from Greece, which has been excluded for its own DLC for bizarre reasons.
but also do it as a split event instead of doing just like a uh, cruising the Balkans event and open it up to be like 30 deliveries being the goal across both new DLC and Black Sea regions uh, they instead uh, decided to make it two different goals which is kind of odd but yeah if you're going to expand it to having the whole peninsula including those towns then just make the goal bigger would be nice but whatever so we're gonna go north to pick up the delivery and then we'll be going south and crossing the border seems this town straddles the border which is interesting uh, i can only imagine there must be some uh, interesting politics in the region turn left exemplified by the shell of a building ahead of us on that intersection probably Go straight. 16 out of 30 discovered looked like yes. so there were 30 so if that made the goal just like explore the balkans and made the 30 cities and you could do it across either like it would be theoretically possible using only our new cities that's really annoying <laughs> i thought i was missing them but still just winged them and picked up a lot of damage for my trouble now i'm gonna have to go to a services uh, that's gonna just waste a little bit more time we're starting off well <laughs> here was i thinking that my goal might be to do a clean delivery of this uh, if we could I mean, I'll have to now, because if I take any more damage, I'm going to be just stalling everywhere. How do I get to my trailer? Safe and sound. Safe and sound, yes. Yes, totally safe and sound. <laughs> Don't mind the carnage that has become the front of my truck. Okay. Metal to the metal, man. Pretty much. Um, though, I say, I'm now going to be looking for a service station. <laughs> but we're probably going to have to deviate off the suggested route to get to one. Uh, I guess we can take a look, uh, just quickly. I want to tease out where it's getting us to go anyway. Uh, I guess we're not going to that rest area, are we? I should have done that on the way in here. Sadly, no services that side of the town either. Uh, where would the next services even be? Belgrade? Only if I go all the way up there. Um, yeah, we're going to have to put up with a lot of engine malfunctions, I think, because there are not any convenient services there. Okay, so we want to go there. <laughs> That's so far. 